was summer when French explorer Samuel de Champlain first came to these hills in 1609. He did not see the colorful fall foliage. The leaves of the maples and oaks, the needles of the pines on the hillsides were a brilliant green. That is why he called the mountains that he viewed Mont Vert, Green Mountains. And that is how the 14th state in the Union got its name, Vermont. To most people, Vermont means maple syrup, covered bridges, skiing, or Morgan horses. Not so many know that about one-tenth of the nation's metal cutting machine tools are made in Vermont. Machine tools have been built in Springfield, Vermont since 1888. Modern storefronts have not essentially altered the town common, and the white steepled church is still its most prominent landmark. Tradition is still strong in Springfield and at Fellows, but much has changed here to keep pace with the space age. Modern highways cut through the hills to link Fellows to its markets throughout the nation. Springfield's modern airport puts Fellows executives and engineers a few jet-propelled hours from their customers. The original one-room, one-story Fellows plant was soon replaced by this sprawling factory on a point of land formed by a bend in the Black River. Fellows' growth kept pace with that of the automobile and other infant industries of the 20th century as the company developed increasingly sophisticated gear production equipment to form the precision parts that make mass production possible. Today, Fellows manufactures gear shapers, gear hobbers, gear measuring instruments, and gear shaper cutters. The most recent change in Springfield is Fellows' new $6 million plant the largest new industrial facility constructed in Vermont's history. With this plant, Fellows is ready to meet an anticipated increase of 25 to 35 percent during the next decade. Greatly expanded research and development facilities will permit Fellows to create advanced metal cutting machinery to meet needs that are still on the drafting boards of its customers. Fellows' fresh, modern, spacious, efficient plant is another step in carrying forward a tradition of fine craftsmanship that dates back to a previous century.